Well, Toy Fair was this weekend. But seriously, let's talk about the toys. Hi guys, we are diving right into New York Toy Fair 2019. Uh, we start off with looking at the Ninja Turtles and the two packs that got uh, mentioned there. We are looking at the cartoon two packs from the 2017 San Diego Comic Con um, set. So here we are uh, getting these at Target. They are, I believe, going to be in the Target in just a few weeks. So uh, be on the lookout for that. The price point's a little high. Uh, if I remember right, they said it was going to be around $52, but they look really, really good. Um, you're going to get all four turtles. Uh, one of the packs comes with Shredder, Leo and Shredder. One of them comes with Krang. And then one of them comes with, uh, or two of them come with Foot Soldiers. So these were awesome to see. And just something that we'll all look forward to. I'm hoping the price point drops just a little though. Because that would be great. We'll move on from there to Super 7. Which I don't normally do anything with. But they did show off some things that were pretty cool. This Conan, the Barbarian, looks pretty cool, but I'm hoping there's an alternate head sculpt because that would be great. But, um, but from there, we got to see some things that were even cooler, movie-related, and something that came as a complete surprise to most of us, and that is the Masters of the Universe movie figures, which we start off here with my man, Dolph Lundgren, uh, He-Man from the movie to the rest of us, and comes with a couple head sculpts that look like, and um, just looking really good. The likeness could be a little bit better if I'm being completely honest, but all in all, really nice. Uh, the sculpting on the details on all of it just looked really great from all the photos. From there, we also got get our Franklin uh, Langella Skeletor. Actually, we're going to get two Skeletors out of that, but that in a minute, and just the details on this were super impressive. Um, really cool uh, just to see this line kind of come out of nowhere and um, give people something to talk about other than what we'll get to later in the video, which was our Marvel Legends, of course. So from there, they also did a repaint that was movie accurate to Crag, which uh, I know came out a little while ago. I don't have any of these. I do collect a few of the Masters of the Universe, but... That has been a long time ago where I collected some of the first ones that uh, uh, Mattel came out with. But again, looking great. The detail on these is amazing for um, that scale of figures. So if you're into that, awesome God Armor Skeletor from the movie. Which again, just showed the level of detail, the level of execution that they're putting into these figures. And just something that is coming across amazing when you actually think about what they're putting into these six or seven inch scale figures. Um, like I said, normally I'm not into the Super 7 stuff or into the Masters Universe stuff, but these probably are going to sway me a little bit. And then we dive over, of course, into Star Wars. And there wasn't much for Star Wars, guys, I'm going to be honest. They just showed off a couple of these really cool throwback vintage card packs that are uh, card backs that are going to be Part of Star Wars Celebration. So we got Obi-Wan with an amazing Ewan McGregor head sculpt. Um, this doesn't do it justice. They did show other pictures of him out of package, which were amazing. Um, and then they also showed off a Darth Maul, which will be popping up here in just a second. And here he is. This Darth Maul did not appear to be any different than what we have seen before in the original Star Wars Black Series 1 release, but these card backs are an amazing callback to the original 99 figures that came out in this line. And these will be exclusives. Uh, we all know Maul is coming out as a re-release in the Archive series, and I believe that Obi-Wan is going to come down the line as well. All right, big break here, guys, and I know I'm talking fast, but here we go to Marvel Legends. Now, we have seen Shuri, at least in cardboard form before. We knew she was coming, but they had her on display at the convention, and she's looking great, as we knew she would. Um, this face printing technology that they have implemented is making these figures look just amazing. And this will be a great addition to the rest of our Black Panther figures. And I believe this is part of the Avengers 
Endgame series, but anyone can correct me if I'm wrong because there was a lot of information that came out. All right, just switching over real quick. This went up for pre-order during the show. This is the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Homecoming and MJ set. It's a good looking set. Um, and again, showing the execution on those uh, face printing uh, technologies that they are putting into these figures. Switching over from there, meh, but it's Doctor Doom as Iron Man. Uh, this is a Walgreens exclusive, which the only encouraging thing about this is that we should be seeing that cloak show up again on a proper Doctor Doom, would be my guess, and why it is sculpted to begin with. And speaking of Walgreens exclusives, we've got Emma Frost. This is when she went good, I believe, and started wearing black instead of white. You know, kind of a contrary thing. Um, the head sculpt looks great on this. This is not a figure that I'm interested in, because if you're going to get Emma Frost, you better get her in her original Hellfire Club gear, which I'm sure we will be seeing sometime down the line with the X-Men goodness that we saw this weekend at Toy Fair, which we will be getting to momentarily. Before that, though... Here we go with some Spider-Man wave news that they gave us. This is um, Far From Home. This is the new suit he's rocking in the movie, I believe. Uh, looking good, just kind of a variation of what we've seen before. Spider-Man figures are pretty much always looking great these days. There is the stealth suit, I believe they're calling it, which is a real callback to the noir suit. Uh, anytime Spidey's in all black is kind of just gets me right where it, where it counts, so... Um, this will be one that will be fun to pick up and take a look down the line. So, um, yeah, they actually revealed quite a few from the Spider-Man line. I think it was the whole wave. And here is Rock Python. Nobody cares. I'm sorry if you're a big Serpent Society fan, but I'm pretty sure this is going to pay warm like crazy. Um, and here we go. Hotly debated, highly polarizing doppelgang figure, which is based again on that very... Poorly articulated Amazing Spider-Man 2 buck. Uh, if you're looking at it for what it is, it actually doesn't look that bad. I think it's actually a better execution than the six-armed Spider-Man for some reason. Maybe because of the extra way that they did the arms, the legs, and the head sculpt. But I know this one's going to throw people for a loop just like the first one did. Um, they also showed Jessica Carpenter Spider-Woman. So this is looking really nice, you guys. The head sculpts on these are getting better and better if they're comic or MCU. And the hair sculpts on some of these figures that they were showing are, are looking like customizer level head sculpts. We get another Spider-Woman thrown in there, another thing to add to the Spider-Verse. And then we jump over to the villains and they showed off Hydro-Man, which looks amazing. Like he stepped off the Todd McFarlane uh, cover art and we're getting some really cool little effects pieces that we haven't really seen before. And um, I'm really liking the direction we're seeing this going in terms of what that's going to bring us down the line. More additions to the Rogues Gallery, which is always a plus. Um, and speaking of, we have Scorpion. All right, guys, this is classic Scorpion. I probably would have preferred a little more updated with the mask not covering his mouth but i will take this it looks really good that is a bendy wire in that tail which is a great sign that we might be seeing a little more of that it's 13 inches um they made sure to say that and he looks really good the green the paint the head sculpt the tail everything is just working for that so um that brings us over to some of the other stuff we saw which i believe this is actually part of the 80th anniversary line which we just got news on this weekend and we're getting some figures that we should have gotten in the first place, including Iron Spider with the legs, the arms, whatever you want to call it, the Waldos, whatever we want to call them. They are on his back. He's looking great. The first figure was great, but now we get a little extra addition uh, to this that's just going to knock it out of the park. And on that note, we are getting the Iron Man 50 from Infinity War that we should have gotten in the first place, too. We've got the shiny metallic reds and golds. We've got more effects pieces on him, or accessories if you want to call them that, that are just making this guy look great. Um, even though I have both these figures already and I actually like them a lot, I don't think these are ones that I can pass up just based on how they look. We also got word that there was going to be some Alex Ross inspired classic characters and that included Captain America. This guy looks amazing. Sculpted chainmail. 
updated head sculpt. There's going to be two head sculpts on this guy. The blue's a little dark, I know people have been saying, but he looks great. This is what we have been waiting for in terms of classic original cap. The boxed version of this guy, and thank you to toyark.com who does such a good job of collecting up this information. Um, you can just tell that this guy is going to knock it out of the park, and you can see a hint of what's to come too, because we basically got the trinity, if not the quadrunity, the quadruplety of uh, amazing classic Avengers figures in this line, which we haven't seen in a long, long time. But here he is, guys. This Thor looked so good. Um, we haven't had a classic Thor like this. Has it been since the original one in the Toy Biz days, which was Series 3 or something like that? This one looks ten times as good to me. Um, going to be a great addition to the shelf. Cap, Thor, and of course we will be getting to the shellhead himself, Iron Man. And here he is, looking great. I know this head sculpt turns a few people off because it's very Alex Rossi, but the great news is, confirmed, without a doubt, there will be another head sculpt boxed with this guy. Not only that, there will be a Tony Stark head sculpt with this guy. And even though the boxed version of this, which we'll see coming up here in just a second, shows a door finish on it, I know the guys at the Floosh have confirmed that even though this version has that door paint that was an earlier prototype version and it will be painted on gold to really make the figure pop really give it that alex ross sheen the metallic finish we're seeing a re-release with a slightly updated paint deco it looks like of juggernaut definitely an updated head there's this head as well as a busted open helmet head of juggernaut himself I really like the new head sculpts they put underneath the helmet for uh, Kane Marco here. And I like the slightly brighter colors, I'm pretty sure, than we've seen before. No belt like the build the figure. But then that leads us to the most amazing Colossus, I think, that we have seen yet. Which we've gotten some good Colossuses, you guys. Colossi, Col however you want to say that. Um, this guy looks so good. It's exactly what I think everyone wanted when they were thinking of a classic Colossus shiny paint, detail, the knee-high, over-knee-high boots. This is very Jim Lee-esque, and it's just looking really, really sharp. Um, here they are packaged together. Um, I know people have been commenting that there were fists packaged in the here, even though Dragonaut already had fists. I think some people were speculating that maybe someone did an accidental redundancy, and those should be open hands. So we'll see what that looks like final product-wise, but you see that uh, cracked open helmet in there. You see the alternate hands for both figures and just the size of Colossus. And both these guys are looking really, really good. Switching over real quick to another two-pack in the 80th anniversary line, we've got Mr. Catface, Mr. Catmask, Wolverine, which was not entirely surprising because we'd kind of heard rumors about this. This looks really good. It's not obviously the costume a lot of us want for Wolverine, but... It's hard to turn down another Wolverine, and the colors are bright and vibrant, and, I mean, overall, for the execution of the figure, it looks really good. But the one that we really wanted out of this pack is the Incredible Hulk, and this guy is just nailing it. You've got alternate hands, you've got an overlay ripped-up shirt, you've got the sculpted ripped-up pants, a classic Lucena or... Whatever classic art you want to call back to, it just captures Hulk so perfectly. And I think this is going to give Thing from last year a run for the money. And here they are in the two pack, you guys. Just looking really good. Um, nothing more I can really say that I haven't already said about these guys. I know this Hulk is what we've been waiting for. We haven't had a classic Hulk. Someone pointed out one of the reviews I was, or one of the videos I was watching recently, probably for 15 years, a comic accurate Hulk like this and we've never gotten one that's this quality and then we moved over to kind of a surprise we get a first Avengers um kind of early on in the movie Captain America where he's in his leather jacket with his um heater shield and the the blue helmet and this guy looks amazing um I love this costume I was hoping to get the actual you know superhero blue and red and white costume from that movie but we'll see if we get that later on but this is going to be a two-pack exclusive to Walmart, and he's going to be included 
with Miss Peggy Carter herself, who's also looking great. Both the cap and Peggy have really great head sculpts, which are obviously incorporating that face print technology and just look a lot like Chris Evans and Haley Atwell. They're nailing these head sculpts now and just really delivering home on these guys. Um, continuing on with kind of that theme of Cap, we also saw another of the Legendary Riders line. They are doing a World War II Ultimates uh, Captain America, which is sharing some parts with that first Avenger Captain America, but it's looking good. You've got the uh, you know, rifle holster up the front on the motorcycle. You've got the saddlebags. I know this is incorporating some of what we've seen before on the sculpt of the motorcycle, but it just is really sharp looking and something that we're going to have to pick up. Um, then we're seeing another two pack that kind of came out of the blue with Hella, who I know a lot of people couldn't find the first time around. She's been hard to track down, but this time she's come with an updated head sculpt. She does have the masked head sculpt with all the horns and all that funny business um but she also has a mjolnir or a mew mew uh grabbing hand so she's just about to break that thing wide open but the other cool surprise with this is she is going to be packaged with scourge so we are getting at least either dust or troy we don't know which one um he's coming with his executioner axe though and the uh, M16, I think, is what that is. Um, but this is looking phenomenal. Obviously, it looks spot on to Carl Urban, in my opinion, and from other photos I was seeing, just locked it in on the actor's likeness, which is always fun to see. Um, speaking of that, Grandmaster, who doesn't want six, six inches of Jeff Goldblum, which sounds way worse than I meant it to, and... Uh, he comes with his melting stick, he's got his sandals, the whole thing looked good. This doesn't do justice to some of the on four picks that we saw, which I think this one, once we see him in person and final product version of it, is going to look just as good, and hopefully we'll get a collector at some point. And he comes packaged with Korg. Um, we were all hoping we'd get a Korg down the line. He was such a, a cool character that Taika Waititi... Uh, the director of Thor Ragnarok put together for the movie. Uh, no Meek in the pack, but we are definitely getting Korg, which I think is just going to be a cool addition to any of the Ragnarok figures that we already have. Um, wish we would have gotten this two years ago, but hey, we're getting it now, which is always fun. Um, and just a little switch over to Infinity War. We are finishing off some of our Black Order figures. Obviously, we're getting Ebony Maw as well. But there is going to be a Walmart exclusive two-pack with a slightly updated redecoed Loki and Corvus Glaive, which I think we're all looking forward to that. Walmart exclusives can be kind of tough, but got to finish that Black Order. So this will be a set that I think a lot of us are going to be on the lookout for, and it'll be fun to hunt down. Switching over from there, a uh, little different pace. We've got Ghost, uh, who's coming in a two-pack, and we'll get to the second character in that in a minute. Um, but we're getting from Ant-Man and the Wasp Ghost, which was a cool character, and I'm glad that they were able to bring her into the mix here so that we could include her with our MCU uh, figures, which is awesome. Looks great um, from everything that we were seeing at the show. And she comes packaged with a Michael Pena Luis figure from the movie. So if you want to narrate all of your Marvel Legends action figures and how one guy knows this guy and all that stuff, we've got Michael Pena. And what you don't see here is he does come packaged uh, accessory-wise with the suitcase building from Ant-Man and the Wasp that you can roll, away, uh, roll around like a little bit of luggage and pretend that it's going to blow up into an actual building. So that should make for some fun uh, articulated comic book art uh, photography. And guys, do I even need to say anything? Here is the Marvel Legends 3-pack that we were all hoping was true. Classic Magneto, classic Scarlet Witch, and classic Quicksilver. All in one go. All looking great. These guys look phenomenal. Um, this 3-pack is already up for pre-order on Amazon, I believe. Um, if I can find it, I'll put that link down below. But each one of these guys is looking great. Here's Magneto himself. He comes with two head sculpts in this thing. He's got the 
angry, kind of pupilless eyed look, and then he's got his normal classic with pupils look. Just looking great. Um, get your effects parts with him as well. But I think we all knew this was on the way down uh, the line when we saw the red and black one, but so happy to see Magneto showing up and Quicksilver, who, by the way, does look remarkably like Ewan McGregor. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but there's definitely a resemblance there. But uh, I've passed on the Quicksilver figures we've got before, which I think is just the one, uh, waiting for something like this to show up, because I do like Quicksilver. He does com you know, come as part of a few different teams, and this guy looks great, and he does have his swappable hands, so you can get the running poses as well. And then you got Scarlet Witch, who updates quite a bit from the one that we've had that was kind of that classic look from a few years ago. Um, this one's obviously got the uh, covering all over with kind of a cool metallic sheen, but this one, the head sculpt looks so good. And what we're seeing again with this, just like with the Jessica Carpenter Spider-Woman, is that really finely sculpted hair, which is a new turn for Marvel Legends and a welcome one. And I'm glad to see that and hope we will see more. Switching over real quick, we get the X-Men Vintage Wave, you guys. They showed off some cool stuff from this. We've been getting the Vintage Wave with Avengers figures and some of those guys, but these are a callback to, if you were a 90s Toy Biz X-Men collector, here's the ones. I can even see in this photo uh, the hint at the card back from my original X-Factor uh, Cyclops, which this just does my heart good. We are getting an updated brand new version of X-Factor Cyclops on a vintage card back that looks like the 90s version of the same figure and getting these effects pieces that are going to just be stellar and a really nicely uh, painted Cyclops and I'm hoping those effects pieces obviously translate over to some of the other Cyclops figures we've got. We will see if that happens but this particular wave was such a cool surprise and I know that we heard a little bit about it but here we are, and continuing into that, we get the Dazzler I think we were all waiting for, which was our Outback Dazzler or 80s Arcade Dazzler, however you want to put it. This is the red bandana, leather jacket, blue suit Dazzler. So we are getting what we had wanted before. If you like the roller skate version, good on you. But this is the one that I think most of us were waiting for, and we're so glad to get it. Um, she's looking really great, and again, she'll be part of this vintage wave, which those card backs are amazing. And if you collected X-Men at all during that era, which you probably did if you watched the animated series, these are really going to strike a chord with you, and that nostalgia bug is going to be really hard to get over. So we will see what we can do. Uh, with this line, because they showed four, I think, of the six, and we will see. Uh, this was kind of the surprise from this particular wave. It was Nylon Mask Wolverine, which was either from the miniseries or the original uh, ongoing series, number one. I can't remember what, but kind of a surprise, kind of out of left field, but hey, it's another Wolverine, and he tends to sell, and the figure actually looks really great, and this might be one of the best head sculpts we've actually seen on a Wolverine that wasn't masked, so I'm sure that some customizers out there are going to take use of that. Um, then they showed Silver Samurai, which lots of people have been waiting for for a long time, and I think this got a little underrepresented in people's coverage because there's so much, but this figure looks phenomenal. He's got his katanas, he's got or samurai swords, he's got the cool metallic finish, and he is going to pop on that uh, vintage card back if that's the way they're going with this so super excited about that line you guys and then we pop over to the X-Force line which they showed off which we kind of had heard rumored and they started that off or at least one of the figures they showed off right away was Boom Boom um, which is always good or Boomer however whatever floats your boat um, oh, just awesome looking figure um, exactly what you would have wanted Nailed it out of the park first time around. I don't think that we will need necessarily another one. And uh, this looks amazing. And what would you have but Cannonball to come with Boom Boom. And yes, you guys, you see the awesome effects piece on the bottom. 
And yes, they did confirm, according to the foosh who asked at the show, this figure is just like it is. There are no legs to swap on to good old Sam here. So he comes as is uh, with that effect at the bottom. So hopefully we'll see another release maybe later down or some way they're going to incorporate the actual legs. But that's how he is and he looks great. And speaking of looking great, we've got Mr. Sinister himself. And he is, I think, exactly what everyone was hoping for in an updated Sinister. The paint details and everything on this guy look phenomenal. The on, on the floor pictures of him looked even better. I don't think the dark blue uh, was quite as vibrant as that, so I think it was a little more blended in. I know people complain about that, but I think we're going to see an awesome figure out of him. And then, of course, the man himself, who we've been waiting for, Mr. Nightcrawler, who is going to come with a sword and three head sculpts, which is awesome, um, which they talked a little bit about. There's going to be like the smiling one, which you see, a little more demonic looking one, and then kind of midway between both of those. But he's looking amazing. Perfect update to the Toy Biz one. And you guys, that is it. Guys, thanks for joining me. That was a lot of fun. I know this is a super long video. Try, I tr tried my best to get it cut down, but there was just so much news to cover and so many awesome toys that we got to see this weekend at New York Toy Fair 2019. As always, keep collecting, stay connected, and remember, the hunt is always on.